Yeah, see how big that jump was that I made? I think it's a maximum of five blocks. I think. I don't know, don't quote me on it. But it's still pretty high as opposed to Minecraft's one block jump. Okay, so... Oh, there's a chest over there in the water. Ow. Blue slimes are much tougher than green slimes. Okay, we're just gonna ignore him. Jump down into the water. Let's see. Oh, jeez. He's coming for me! Go away! Go away. No, 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 no. I don't want to die already. Okay. Okay. We have a night owl potion. We have some bottles. Some shrukins. Which are like ninja stars. Ooh, grenades. And a blowpipe. But we don't have anything... For any ammo for the blowpipe. So we will take this chest using the hammer. Um, let's see what's in here. Oh, we got a healing potion too. Okay, so we will put the healing potion over here. We'll put our copper ore over here. Chest over there. Um, so the bottles are used to make potions when put in conjunction with a mushroom. Um, but there are way more potions than just healing potions. There's a lot of other potions. We're actually pretty lucky to find a night owl potion so early into the game. Um, can I make it? Oh no, okay. And your character really doesn't suffer too much fall damage, so you don't have to worry about that too much. I mean, granted, he will take fall damage, but you can fall a greater distance than you would think you can. But when you do take fall damage, it's not very happy. Or pleasant. Um, okay, we just got more shurikens and a potion and money. Um, what grenades are is they are an explosive that does not destroy blocks, but it does inflict damage on you yourself or enemies. Shurikens are pretty much the same thing, only they do not explode, obviously, since they're an equivalent to ninja stars. Um, Shurikens are one of the more easier weapons to use when you're going against the first boss, so it's kind of good that we found them. And I think um, there's a 50% chance that you can pick up every shuriken you throw if it hits an enemy before it hits the ground. So they're a semi-reusable item, which is good. So I don't want to go too far in that area because there's a lot of holes in there and I don't want to get stuck somewhere and die this early. Okay, we're just going to pass you. Oh wait, I found some seeds. Oh. oh! Wait, 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 wait. I think... Yeah, you use seeds to use the blowpipe. Okay, I've never used a blowpipe before because every time I find a blowpipe, I've already found something better. So, uh, we have our first ranged weapon, but it only has six seeds of ammo. I don't even know how much it does. I'm just gonna assume it doesn't do a lot. Although, destroying the grass seems to give you seeds. I think you have to find the blowpipe before you can find seeds. So let's see how much damage this thing does on the next slime that we find. Oh, and if you can see below me, there's a bit of a cavern below. Um, I guess we could go dig into that. I don't see why not. Well, first I want to place down the chest. Just, just for now. We're gonna have to make our house a bit more easier, accessible, in case there's an emergency. Um, what do I want to put in the chest? I'll put the night owl potion in there. Oh, that's right, I need to put a bottle on the table here so I can make some potions later. Um, shoot, why do I keep going there? Okay. I'm not going to need the mushrooms right now. I do not need the acorns. The wood I will save. Um, I'll put that down here, actually. I don't plan on using the grenades right now, just because they'll probably one-shot me. Uh, bottles... Oh, wait, no, I'll take the mushrooms so I can make potions. Yeah, here we go. Okay, we can't make too much because they also need, um, what's it called? slime gel to use, or to make, I should say. Uh, we'll put the wood platforms in there, too, and I think we're good to go down into that cave. So, let's just dig straight into it. It doesn't look like there's too much in there, though. Let's 
torches down. There's a lot of uh, pots in here. Oops, got stuck in a cobweb. Although we do need cobwebs if we're going to make a bed because we can turn cobwebs into silk and then silk into... Yeah, the bed. I thought that there was something else after the silk, but there isn't. Okay, yeah, so this cave doesn't go much nowhere. However, that does not mean that there are that caves aren't very common. In fact, the whole world is full of caves. In this world, we did choose to set as a large world. So there's a lot of stuff that we can find. So we're just going to dig down for a little bit, see what we've run into. I'm not going to bore you guys too much with trying to find this stuff, so maybe I will make a elevator one day. And if you don't know what a elevator is, you, you'll know what it is when you see it. Uh, but right now we're just gonna try to find a quick and easy way to get resources. Although, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I should probably put a torch here. Okay, there's some copper. Although we're not really looking for copper right now, we're looking out for iron right now. I really shouldn't be digging straight down this early into the game. Mostly because I won't have an easy way of getting back home other than dying, which is probably what I'm going to do. Usually in the beginning of the game, that's what I do to get back home easier, is I just kill myself. It's just, it's just so much simpler and easier. So, oh, but wait, if I spawn, I might destroy part of my house. Eh, oh well. Maybe I should use that Night Owl potion. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, uh, no, we're not almost out of torches. Although, we're not going to have that many. I should have killed some more slimes to get more slime gel to make torches, but whatever. I don't plan on being down here too long. Jeez, where is everything? It's never this hard to find a cave. See, it would figure only when I'm recording. There's a hole, but we're not looking for a hole. Oh, and those little green splotches that you see in the dirt, that's pretty much just grass. And grass can spread to dirt blocks, so eventually this whole side... Oh, here's something. Eventually this whole wall of um, dirt will become grass. Oh, wait, this is nothing. Yeah, this is nothing. Okay. Thought we found something there for a minute. Did we? It looks like it continues. Come on, don't be playing games with me. Maybe? What is this? What is this? Oh, well, I think we found the entrance to a cave right here. Maybe. Hopefully. What is that down below? Oh. It was nothing. Wait, what was it? Okay, I guess it was just nothing. Okay, there's some stuff going on down there. Oh! Demon altars. Okay. Oh, hello, slime. Bring it. Oh, okay, you're stuck. Um, okay, so what those things are that you see right here are demon altars, and what we're going to use demon altars for is we're going to use them to craft items so we can go and defeat bosses, or to spawn bosses, I should say. Um, I cannot destroy them right now. If I attempt to destroy them, they will one-shot me, so we're not going to screw around with those right now. They don't do any damage unless you try to, to attack them. Oh, that was weird. I thought that they were solid object. I'm like, I don't remember them being solid. But yeah, they're a background item, which means you need a hammer to destroy them, and I'm not even going to show you wh what happens if you try to destroy them. Can I get out? There we go. And if you notice, torches burn out, I guess you could say, underwater. What is... Can I jump up that? Yeah, but I can't jump up over... There! Nope. Jumping takes a bit of skill. Just just a wee bit. 
for a minute there, I thought that that stone was silver. I was going to say, if we found silver already, that's really good. Okay, so, this wasn't the cave I was hoping for. But, now we do know where some demon altars are. Wait. Wait, what is that? Oh, there we go. Never mind. Here's a cave. And just drained out all that water. That was weird, the lighting was different for a minute. I think I see some iron axe 